everybody, I'm Kelly with Plano Parks and Recreation. Today we are at Arbor Hills and we're meeting with a resident who is using Plano's parks in a unique way. This is Amanda Talley. Hi Amanda, how are okay. you? Good, thanks, how are you? Good, good. So tell me a little bit about your profession. Sure, I am a licensed professional counselor in the state of Texas, and so I'm a mental health professional. I do therapy sessions and have my own private practice. Okay, and you've been coming to Arbor Hills for quite some time. 11 years. Tell me a little bit about how this park is related to what you do for a living. I found that this park in particular, I think it is a bit of an oasis away from the stress and what we experience um, living kind of in an urban or suburban area. And so it's been very calming for me. I think it's helped to provide some perspective um, when things get stressful. Um, it's just kind of been a place of relaxation for me. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to be able to offer that to my clients. Mm -hmm. um, and I do hiking and walking sessions here in this park for my therapy sessions. Tell me a little bit about the conditions that your clients face and how bringing them out to Arbor Hills is helping them overcome their challenges. I think for just about anybody, when we reach a point in our life where things become more difficult, whether it's because of stress, anxiety, depression, relationship struggles, um, we lose perspective. And so I think bringing people here, um, there's a combination between the, the movement and our mental processing, that that mind-body connection is really helpful for people in problem solving and getting some perspective. Have you ever brought clients out here who had never been to Arbor Hills before? And yes, in fact, most of my clients have never been here. Really? Uh -huh. So what is their first impression when you say, hey, we're, instead of here, meet me here? Um, when people first get here, they say, I had no idea this existed. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm in the city. I feel like I'm on vacation, mm -hmm. something like that. mental and emotional benefits of being in places like Arbor Hills? Yeah, so being outside really appeals to all of our senses. Mm -hmm. uh, and so everything is enhanced when we're out here, which helps us to slow down, mm -hmm. helps us to feel more relaxed. Mm -hmm. um, therefore, as a result, there's a decrease in anxiety, a decrease in depression, stress, um, people, because of the way that it works with our senses, mm -hmm. also experience better mood, mm -hmm. better memory, mm -hmm. better attention. Mm -hmm. um, it's really remarkable just how hmm. a little bit of time, about 20 minutes, all the way up to two hours, can impact us in that way. When you can't, you can't uh, count out the physical benefits, just the physical benefits of being out in right. nature, right? Right, absolutely. So there's an uh, improve in our immunity system. Mm -hmm. um, so we are stronger, our immune system is stronger. And then um, we also experience a decrease in our blood pressure, all sorts of things just by spending time outside. And that's where I, I, I come to remember um, too, like you tend to breathe a little bit more shallow when you're mm -hmm. under stress, mm -hmm. right? You, everybody says take a deep breath. Right. Being out here encourages those deep breaths yes. that can get that oxygen right. flowing. Yeah. And yeah, the air is really clear, and I think it's just a lot more natural for us to pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. um, and then that just kind of ushers in all of these changes and things that we can experience. It's all connected. Mm -hmm. So people don't need to necessarily be going through any personal challenges in order to enjoy Plano's parks, right? Correct. While I'm here, I see obviously people exercising. It's a great meetup spot for people. I do see that there are groups that will gather here, um, whether it's from like a local youth group or something of that sort. Um, I also see a lot of people that are preparing for backpacking trips, and I've done that myself, where I come with my loaded up pack <laughs> and just walk the trails because of the terrain is really uh, friendly for that, and um, it's really the best option that we have in our area. So there's a lot of things that, that people are, you see people using our parks for. How do you see not just Arbor Hills, but mm -hmm. Plano's parks in general, mm -hmm. benefiting the community overall? How do, yeah. how do they play a part? Well, having green spaces like that where people feel that they can go, they can gather, um, really helps to connect the community. Mm -hmm. It promotes a lot of pro-social behavior. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's a great added benefit to the community and that sense of connection and safety and all of that. you 
tell somebody who maybe has never been to Arbor Hills or maybe have never visited one of Plano's parks before? Um, I think about Arbor Hills in particular, since that's where we are, is that there's mountain biking trails, there are dirt trails for hiking, there's concrete trails. There's just a lot of activities that one can do while they're here. Um, I think there's a park for everybody. I know a lot of the parks that I've been to in Plano really allows for, I think, recreation for children, for people with pets, for people of all abilities, that there's just a lot of options um, to get outside and enjoy the benefits of nature. How can people show their appreciation for nature in their daily lives? I think simply by having an understanding of how it benefits us and the way that we are connected with our natural environment um, is, is one way. The research does show that as we spend more time outside, we tend to have more of an appreciation and respect for it. Mm. And then in turn, we're more likely to take care of it. And so I think um, respecting our environment and taking care of these places that we have because of what it provides for us is, is really significant. And with 85 park sites here in Plano, it's important that we have good park stewards here, i.e. our residents, to help make sure that these parks are thriving for this generation and generations to come. Mm -hmm. I would agree with that. I mean, I do think it's very important that we take care of these places for ourselves, for future generations to come, because I think until recently, uh, we've We've really underestimated the benefit of having these places, and now there's so much research that's coming out to support just how significant this is. Um, and so I would encourage everybody to make use of it, to get out here, to enjoy days like this, um, and then to take care of it while they are enjoying it.